Hello, my name is Yusra Magori, born and raised in the border city of Bingarden in Tunisia. I earned my bachelor in computer science in 2007 and specialized in CRM and digital marketing technologies after moving to the U.S. I held different roles at large corporates such as Microsoft, Expedia, and eBay. And at the moment, I am an Associate Principal Technology Architect at Salesforce. I am also the founder of Open Minds Project, a nonprofit organization that gives access to bestseller books, e-learning resources, and career assistance to young adults in Tunisia. I founded the initiative as a way to help them unlock career opportunities and facilitate connections amongst the next generation of professionals in the country. My passion for giving back, connecting with women in tech, and belief that we all need to lift each other up led me to serve as a mentor for emerging female professionals through several organizations. I currently live in Austin, Texas with my husband and two kids. When I was a kid, we didn't have much, but I remember having so many dreams and ambitions. Things like having my own car, uh, traveling in an airplane. I remember I was so curious and so excited about learning. I loved languages and I was good at math and at one point I wanted to be a math teacher. The disadvantage that girls um, faced was a subtle fact that everyone was aware of but rarely anyone challenged. There were a set of expectations from girls and totally different ones for boys. Things like house chores and career choices. I did not let that fact affect me in any way. I was always focused on getting excellent grades and seeing my success empowered me. I am a big believer of growth mindset, that is, allowing them to embrace failure and learn from it. Growth mindset teaches kids that they can achieve diff difficult things. How to persevere when things get, get tough. Always keep the focus on the progress they're making rather than the immediate result. Now, when it comes to raising girls, it is so important to continuously listening to them, allowing them to disagree with you, and have a voice. I think parents should also encourage their daughters to have physical challenges. My daughter Yasmin, for example, she's taking gymnastics, ninja warrior, and rock wall climbing, and we noticed that um, she became so confident in a, such a short period of time. We always tell her that we believe in her and she can achieve anything she wants as long as she's willing to make the effort. After graduating and moving to the U.S., I was so excited to explore and learn the language, the culture, and the career opportunities. I remember I always had a positive attitude and believed that I'm going to make it and it is just a matter of time. I did freelance work at first and after a few unsuccessful interviews, I landed a job as a developer at eBay. There is no doubt that being a working mom is difficult, but I personally believe that pursuing a fulfilling full-time career while playing an active role in your child's life is possible as long as you find the balance in your lifestyle. 
Being in a positive relationship is very important. My husband is very supportive and he believes in my professional goals. We always discuss our priorities and continuously adjust our lifestyle. Being present in my kid's life is so important to me and at times it was very difficult to keep the professional growth momentum, especially in a male-dominated industry in a very fast-paced environment. I struggled mostly to promote my work. I always thought that my work would speak for itself and my achievement would get noticed. Unfortunately, that is not how it works. It is your responsibility to continuously highlight your success. For all the girls out there, no matter the field you choose, don't be intimidated. You might think that you don't have the knowledge to be competitive, but truth is what matters is being curious and willing to learn and adapt. Also, surround yourself with ambitious people who would push you forward. Lastly, be aggressive, build your brand, and know that success has no gender.